Hi there, if you are watching this video because you are planning to take an English exam. And you probably know that one of the most frequent tasks of written exam is to write a letter. When you receive your task, you need to identify what kind of letter you need to write. Formal letter or informal letter. And today we are going to learn how to write a perfect formal letter. So, if your written task is to write a formal letter, you need to bear in mind that there are three different types of letters. Application letter, when you apply for a job or internship. A letter of complaint, where you complain about the service you receive or the product you have purchased. Or recommendation letter, where you will recommend a person for a certain job position or a product or service. The structure of all formal letters will be the same. The first paragraph of your formal letter is opening paragraph or greeting, where you need to greet a person you are going to write to. So you use phrases like dear sir, dear madam, dear mister or dear missus plus the surname of the person you are writing to. If you don't know the name, you can use the phrase like to whom it may concern, to whom it may concern. In the second paragraph of your formal letter, you will need to give a reason, the reason of your letter, why you are writing this letter. So you can use phrases like I'm writing to apply for a job, I'm writing to inform you about something or I'm writing to complain about something. In the third paragraph of your letter, you will provide more information about yourself, about your work experience or your studies if you are writing an application letter or the reason of your complaint if you are writing a complaint letter. So, for example, if it's an application letter, you will use a phrase like please find attached my application form. The fourth paragraph is a closing sentence. So, here you can use a sentence like I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. And then we need a formal ending. Regards, you are sincerely, you are faithfully plus your full name, your name and your surname. When you're writing a formal letter, you have to bear in mind that we cannot use contractions in our letter. So we can't write isn't or haven't or doesn't or wouldn't or shouldn't. It should be is not, have not, does not or would not. We cannot use colloquial expressions. For example, if we're writing a letter, we can't say, hi mate, because it will sound really rude. Neither can we use idioms, like drop me a line, it's a piece of cake, it's not my cup of tea. These phrases, they are quite nice and beautiful for informal letter, but not for formal one. If we want our letter to be more logical and easier to read, we need to use connectors. For formal letters, I recommend you use connectors such as given that, furthermore, however, or additionally. I hope you found this video useful for you, and if you want to learn how to write an informal letter, follow my channel.